morning everybody, Gary Porter again. Uh, what I discovered was on the PC board over here on the right hand side of the system, the trace going to one of these connectors in the back right over here between the two connections was actually burned off the board so that uh, the negative portion of this PC board to the motor wasn't even being used. And uh, now my RPMs is at 250 RPMs, and uh, she's running very smooth. And I'm going to give you some some close-ups here of the uh, of the system. I'll try to go over the top. I don't know if I have enough light to do it, but I'm going to try. LEDs come down to these terminal blocks and uh, they split so that uh, over here on the board uh, coming into these two connections I've got uh, one and four going to this section and then five and eight go over here. One and four controls negative, five and eight controls a positive to the coils and then uh, Right here on top, there's a transformer right here, uh, 120 down to 30 volts AC, and on top of that, there's a square cap I put in for 60, uh, 60 cycle resonance to cut the energy down from the bat from the uh, from the inverter. And uh, I've got uh, some connections up here, and uh, I've got. The odd coils on both sides are connected in, in this area, and the even power coils on this side. Uh, as I stated last video, the pickup coils are here and here for each side, and uh, this side, this side of the board right here, uh, comes up to here, and then these wires go over to pick up their power from the two boards. And uh, you can see. Right here, there's two wires connected together. Uh, these these come. Uh, this set comes from uh, the right-hand PC board, and the other set comes from the left-hand PC board. Uh, pulses on these wires are either positive or negative to the motor coils, depending on position of the LED sensors. And uh, that's how it works. That's how you get a. Uh, the negative first negative pulses going in cause uh, cause it to do a push on the magnets on the rotor, and the next thing that occurs is uh, a pulse to the next set of coils. Actually, there's three pulses per for the original. The original design was one pulse at a time. This this design is uh, three pulses in a row, and. Uh, on the disc, there are three uh, three pulses every 60 degrees. And uh, my next step, I've got a a small problem with some with the mounting. If you look close, you'll see there's a very slight wobble, maybe oh a sixteenth of an inch. And that's because the shaft is half inch, 18 inch diameter rotor, and. Uh, what happens is the I'm using a, a half inch small coupling from a hardware store to uh, let me turn this beast off here. I'm using a half inch coupling, which is only about an inch and eighth in diameter, to to handle the 18 inches wide. So that's pretty uh, pretty narrow, pretty. So I'm going to try to put another pulley on the back side, five or eight inch pulley and then bolt that right to that rotor to try to straighten that right out make it nice and straight. Because when I kick this thing up to 100 volts it ought to be really flying so. And I may have to change this uh, this disc arrangement here. If there's any vibration. There's not a lot of room to work with in here. And you can see that uh, every 60 degrees there's the there's the three cuts And those are done with a Dremel tool and uh, the reason for going out to 10 inches 
was to get I couldn't on a, on a CD disc I simply couldn't get the three three cuts made in that amount of surface area so and when I tried to use the the, the, the 33 record album the plastic was so brittle it just uh, once it, it touched one of these wires over in the back here and just split the the, the, the record into pieces so that was quite a mess anyway that's where we are today and uh, have a have a nice day hope you enjoyed the video